When you want to preview what you have made for yourself, you have a few options. So you can click right here on the desktop preview and it will launch this window. And right here in this window, if you, if you remember, we use the tab. So when I tap right here, it will enlarge and it will reposition all of these different icons and it will reposition this uh, image right here to the top. And if you remember, when we click back right here, it will launch back into its original position. So that way you can preview whatever you have done before you even send it to your client, just so that you know for yourself if you did the right job or not, and you know which kind of changes you have to make in order to follow the brief and the design guidelines that you receive for you, from your client. The other way you can preview it is right here using mobile preview. You have to install free Adobe XD app on your iPhone or on your Android phone. And then for whichever phone you are designing, you can use this mobile preview and you can preview this design directly onto your mobile device. Now your clients can do this too. You can simply send them the link and they can simply open this using their phone. They have to use their phone connected via USB cable but Adobe's team says that in the future they will be able to do that via AirDrop for uh, iOS devices and via Wi-Fi, for example, for Android devices. But for now, you have to use USB cable connected to your computer, Adobe XD app installed, and then you can preview this preview directly onto your phone. That's a great addition to have because that way you can be sure that all of these font sizes are big enough so they, they can be seen, that your tap points are optimized. So for example, when users tap right here, they don't open this image by mistake, but they open this image perfectly as they wanted to. If this menu icon is big enough, you can test all of these different things using that Adobe XD app or if you want to see for yourself, you can click right here for the desktop preview and you can show this directly to your client or to your team if they are uh, somewhere near you or you are previewing uh, this as part of the demo to your client and they can simply click right here and interact with your prototype. You can even click right here to position this in the center so you have less distractions around and the more of these effects you have in your prototypes, the more it will look like a real app and the more clients will understand it better and know what the capabilities are later when this design gets to the development phase and developers get their hands on your design. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can record this prototype as a video and how you can send that video to your client, to your stakeholders or to the users so that they can see that video or you can even use it as part of your presentation. So if you are presenting this design on Behance or Dribble, for example, it can even really be useful to show that video to your audience because they will then be able to understand same like your clients will how your design is intended to be seen and used and how it's going to look like once coded. So I'll see you there.